Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Kathleen Gamer. We're talking about Islamophobia. Kathleen, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So tell us, what is Islamophobia? Oh, well, Islamophobia can be looked at in many different ways, but what, what we're trying to do in this con conference about Islamophobia is to present the, the situation that all people should really look at this deeply and try to understand the cultures because Islamophobia comes from fear and something you don't know. And if you come to this conference, you'll be able to um, sort of hear all these different speakers speak about this topic. And it, I think it just sort of, actually like the title, debunks the clash of civilizations, mm -hmm. which shows that really when you understand something, there isn't that big fear of Islamophobia, which unfortunately did arise in America after 9-11, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can start to understand it better. Uh -huh. And when is this conference? It's tomorrow. We start at 9 o'clock in the morning at Hannon Library at SOU, mm -hmm. and we're going to go tomorrow till 1 o'clock. But on the 14th, uh, the day after on Thursday, we'll start again at 9 o'clock in Hannon Library, third floor, Mies Room, and we're going to go till 5 o'clock, and then we have a panel at 5 with all the people who contributed to this program. Oh, and then you can come and have questions and answers from 5 to 9, you know, about the topics that you heard during this conference, uh -huh. if you have any questions and answers. So sure. basically, Thursday will be our full day. Right, okay. All right. From no, 9 so to 9. What are some of the, you know, Islamophobia? It certainly is about misconceptions. What are some of the misconceptions about, uh, about Islam and the Muslim religion? Well, first of all, uh, there's the Shiites and the Sunnis, and um, they, it, it's two different uh, variations, plus there's many more. And also, it, it spans so many countries, so you really can't, it's like, what's the difference of Christianities? Mm -hmm. You know, you have sure. so many different sects. And so, it, it's, it's to understand that they're, not all the people are exactly the same, and just because one thing happened, you can't blame. Mm -hmm all the Muslim religion in the world for what's happened. Okay. All right. well, we're so take I think a, oh. that's just to try to understand the situation. Sure, okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more with Kathleen in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Kathleen Gamer. We're talking about Islamophobia coming up tomorrow and Thursday over at SOU, this conference going on. So I want to ask you is, uh, we're talking about Muslim and is in uh, Islam. Are, are they all violent? Are all um, Islamists violent? No, not at all. Actually, um, that's, again, I hope you come to the conference because that's a total misconcept. It's, mm -hmm. It really is. I mean, look at any section of, uh, of people or religion. You sometimes have people who are violent, but uh, really, I lived in Iran. I, I My two daughters left Iran with me in 1996, very similar to what happened in Argo the movie, and these Iranian people helped us. They helped us so much. And, and the, most of the people, I mean, 70% of the people in Iran are young. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, they, they're very, very good people, and they actually love Americans, and that's a really, you know, it, it, if they have a problem because governments don't get along, it doesn't mean that the people don't get along, mm -hmm. or that they're violent, or... Sure. Sure. So I know, and you just mentioned it, some people get to visit a country like Iran. Mm -hmm. You yeah. live there. How did you come yes, to live I there? Did. Well, my uh, mother was working in the American embassy, left 10 days before the hostage crisis. And then after that, I was married to a Finnish diplomat. And we were in the embassy of Finland in Iran. And uh, I had my two daughters there with me. And being that I was half American and I was also... <laughs> I was also spec spoke Farsi very well. Uh, they were always very critical of me because they didn't know I was living with a Finnish diplomat and they always uh -huh. were wondering what I'm doing in Iran. But <laughs> these people helped me when I left with my two daughters in 1996. They helped me and um, I, I've had a very good relationship with the people in Iran and, and I, I actually really feel for them what they're going through right now. Mm -hmm. So, and in, in, uh, getting the word out about, about the people of the mm -hmm. Middle East is really what yeah. this conference is all about. Absolutely, because we, we don't want people, and that's what Islamophobia is about. When you don't understand people and you, you think everybody's violent, it's not true. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I think it would be very good, and we have great speakers, in fact, quite a few speakers. We have from PSU, Dr. Mandeville coming, 
and we have uh, uh, Mr. Kenan Kenan from Palestine. We have Mr. Ashur Abdelaziz from Libya, and he's going to speak about the Arab Spring. We also have um, do, uh, Dr. Rothschild will be speaking, and we also have uh, Reza Mohajeri Nejat from Iran. Mm. He'll speak about the importance of Iran in the Middle East and the Green Revolution. He was wow. part of the Green Revolution with the students. So a lot going on over at SEU the next yes. couple of days. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>